Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we are going to start talking about the file system module in Node.js. So the file system module will allow you to do all kinds of uh, 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 file system manipulation, uh, including but not limited to writing files, reading files, uh, creating files, copy files, delete files, uh, create directory, copy directories, move directories, determine the permissions for files and directories, uh, check if uh, directories exist, to check if files exist. So all kinds of watch files for changes and, and all kind of stuff. So <clears throat> all kinds of uh, file system manipulation that you'd want to do. Uh, uh, this uh, this is the module that you want to know about. This is the module you want to use to do these kinds of uh, manipulation. <coughs> so today what we are going to talk about is uh, essentially the simplest thing you can do with the file system module which is opening a file. Okay, So uh, the two functions that uh, allow you to do this directly are the open and open sync function. Open sync uh, essentially is the synchronous version of, uh, uh, of open. Uh, where you have to provide a callback for open, open sync, you, you essentially will have to wait for that function to return uh, whatever it's going to be returning, and then after that, perform uh, the rest of your program that's going to depend on whatever that open sync is going to return, which is a file descriptor that you can use to do whatever else you want to do. <coughs> okay, so as you can see in here, there are a couple of things you have to provide to open uh, to be able to do what you need to do. Uh, one of them is the path. Okay, if you wish to open a file, uh, then that file needs to exist somewhere. Okay, so the path is going to be the place where that file is. Uh, the flag, the flag that you're going to provide, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's I think a combination of, uh, in total, there's there are 12 different flags you can provide to either you know what you're going to be by providing the flag what you're doing is telling uh, node what you do what you would like to do with this file why do you want this file opened it could be that you want to read the file it could be that you want to write to the file it could be that you want to append to an existing file uh, append data append text to an existing file it could be that you want to both read and write. It could be that you want to both append and read. Hey, there's, a, there's a lot of things uh, uh, you might want to do uh, when opening a file. So these flags will essentially determine what that is. So I have this file here that sort of you know, break down uh, the different flags you can provide and what they will uh, allow you to do. Okay, so these are primarily concerned with reading the file. So when you are reading a file, you will not be creating it. So when you're reading, you expect that file to exist somewhere. So as you can see, <coughs> the different read file flags, uh, you have R, which essentially tells the system, hey, I just want to read that file, R plus. Uh, whenever you see plus next to anything, it could be next to a W, as you can see here, could be next to an A. And by the way, R stands for reading, W stands for writing, A stands for appending. So if you see a plus next to either of those, uh, what it means is it's doing the other thing as well. So if this is reading, that means it's also going to be writing as well. So reading and writing. If this is writing, but it's also going to be doing reading as well. So writing and reading. If it's doing appending, appending is kind of, kind of like writing. So appending with plus will be it's going to be reading and appending as well. Okay, the next uh, bit of jargon that you're going to find in here is the S. The S is, is essentially for uh, uh, telling node you're, you're opening this file uh, uh, and whatever you're going to be doing with it in a sync, you're going to be doing it in a synchronous way. Okay, so if you're using OpenSync, uh, uh, this will be 
uh, what you're going to use if your purpose is to read the file or read and write the file. So read and write synchronously, you're going to use that. Read and write asynchronously, I mean read synchronously, you're going to be using that. So it, the X actually means, you know, if the file already exists, whatever call you're going to be making, it's going, it's going to fail. So uh, just, you know, if you're going to use the X next to anything. So this is uh, essentially the sense in the madness of all this jargon in here. And uh, let's go back to that open file.js and see how we can open a file with the fs.open function. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, fs.open, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so again, what you need to provide is a path to the file. <coughs> excuse me, got it cough there, something bothering my throat. Okay, so we want to provide a path uh, to the file. So we have a couple of paths here. Those are valid uh, paths. And uh, let me open this up. You can see this is the flax file. This is a dir file. Uh, I just uh, piped uh, an ls to this file and created it. <coughs> okay, so these are valid files. Let's just go ahead and provide, let's say we want the flag file, okay? All right, so what we could do here is just provide a string, okay? And one of the strings here for the flags file is, uh, yeah, you could pick anything here. So let's just do read and write, okay? So R plus, okay? Now, you could provide a, a mode, what the mode tells the file system is where, uh, what kinds of permission this file is going to be given. Now, if you're talking about permissions, that means you're creating the file, because if the file is already created, it already has uh, its permissions set. You, you, will, you can change that if you like, but not, you will not be creating the file using the open function, so there's no way you'll be using the mode right here. Okay, if you were creating the file, then you could be setting the permissions right here by providing a mode. And the mode is essentially an integer. It's just a, a number that will provide that the file system will recognize as a set of permissions that it will apply to the file. Okay, so we will not be providing mode here. So the next thing we'll need is a callback. <coughs> that callback will be taking an error. in uh, a, a file descriptor. That file descriptor is essentially an integer that will represent the file right, within your program. All right, so if there is an error, what we want to do is, uh, let's say we just want to print to the console that there's been an error and we will say what that error is. Actually, I want to log that. Okay, there's going to be a code that comes with that error. Let's print that out. Let's just go to the next line. There's going to be a message that's come with this error. So this is uh, if there is an error, else that means we have our file. So in here we could read the file, we could write, write to the file because the way we started it uh, with the flag we said we could read it or write. <coughs> but, uh, since we will look at these things in next few videos, uh, let's just print to the console that we've opened the file successfully. Okay, console.log. Okay. File. Let's just print the file descriptor that is provided.
Okay, the file has successfully been opened. Now, when you use the fs.open function, it doesn't automatically close the file for you. Now, some of the other functions in Node will close the file for you, like a uh, function like uh, fs.read file, for example. It will open the file, read the contents, uh, provide it to you, and then uh, at the end, close the file. But if you're using open yourself, you will need to eventually close that file at the end. And uh, the place to do it is right here. After you've done whatever you need to do in here, you are going to go ahead and close the file. And the way you do that is by calling fs.close. And uh, what you will provide here is the file descriptor <coughs> and a callback. This callback is going to receive an error if there is one and you will handle, handle it as you would do here. There's no need to repeat that so let's just go ahead and say the file has been closed. <coughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Don't want to clear it. Alright, so the file has been opened successfully and the file has been closed. And, you know, the <coughs> the file that we tried to open was the flags file, which is the flags.txt. So let's say I deleted that. So the file that we're providing now doesn't exist. We run this and we get this error right here. All right, so this is how you would uh, open a file in Node.js. And in here, you could do whatever you want, uh, like read, write. And depending on the flags that you provide in here, you could do any number of things that you would like. All right, so today we looked at the fs.open function. And uh, what you'd provide are a set of flags. I mean, there, there's a set of flags, one of which you could provide here. Uh, here, <laughs> you need to give a path, which is what we did using one of these. And you can provide a mode, depending on the flag you were using. If this allows you to create the file, and at creation time this mode will be used and that mode it will essentially de determine uh, the permissions uh, that the file will have or, or whatever rules use what what are the users what groups are going to have uh, and what kind of permissions they're going to have to this file and so on and then uh, we can use a callback uh, that will get uh, an error in a file descriptor um, if there's an error you can handle that and uh, using the file descriptor you can do all kinds of things with this file all right so this is the video guys uh, i will see you next time